Every time we enter an active area, usually at the beginning of a shift, we need to identify the rock characteristics and assess the risk of work continuing. Washing down the walls and backs to remove dust after firing makes it easier to inspect the excavation and identify the risk of rock falls. The things to watch out for are any unusual rock noises. In mines where stress is always present, rock under high stress may be making an unusual noise like clicking or cracking sounds. This often happens immediately after blasting. In mines where stress is usually low, any noise made by the surrounding rock would be considered unusual. Are there any large flat joints? Flat joints usually form flat lying slabs that can fall easily if they are not supported. Are rocks continuing to fall after blasting? If so, this will mean the excavation is trying to stabilise itself as stress changes are taking place. In all situations, wait for the rock falls to stop before you approach the heading. Can you see any large wedges forming? As an excavation progresses, a number of structures can be exposed which form large blocks or wedges. If it looks like the wedge is large and can't be safely scaled or bolted, don't move under or near it. Can you see any cracks or faults opening? After blasting, there will always be gaps in the rock mass. However, large gaps along faults or shears can indicate that the ground has moved or is moving. Maybe a crack you saw last time you were in the heading has continued to open. Is there an unusually large inflow of water at the face, backs or walls? Wherever the water may be entering the excavation, it usually means there is a weakness, such as a fault or a shear that the water can travel along. Remember, if the flow is persistent, water may cause the ground support to rust quickly. Is there evidence of excessive loose rock behind the mesh, cracked shotcrete or bolts and plates that are bent or damaged? All of these conditions indicate that the ground has been or is still moving. Report the hazard to your shift supervisor before starting work. Is there a significant change in the shape of the drive from the last cut? If the dimensions of the heading seem a lot higher or 